Ex-boyfriend insists I play a game he assumes he's better at. I complied. Every once in a while I think about this story while I'm idly playing Sudoku on my phone and it makes me smile. I realized it's perfect malicious compliance, petty revenge material. And hash X200B. I don't want to go into too much detail here but some background is needed. A few years ago when I was in grad school, I dated a man who was several years older than me who had just finished his master's at the same school, completely different program but both in the realm of STEM, and started a company based on that work. He seemed to have a chip on his shoulder about the fact that he went back to school in his late 20s, and the fact that I was in a PhD program. I need to emphasize I did not think I was better or smarter than him in any way, and I thought and still think he is incredibly smart and his company does fascinating work. But, he still projected this inferiority complex on me and it was one of many things that soured our relationship. He was obsessed with feeling smarter than me and bringing me down a peg. The relationship ran its course within a year and the breakup was messy, but he insisted on remaining friends despite a lot of obvious tension between us. And hash X200B. One day he asked me to help him pick up a moving truck he needed for work and I agreed, but when I got in the car we were kind of quiet for a couple minutes so I pulled out my phone and finished the Sudoku game I had up in my browser. For some context, I am incredibly good at Sudoku relative to most people. This is because I obsessively solved Sudoku puzzles as a kid and just had big books of them to solve on long bus rides to school, and it's still my go-to game to play while waiting in line, pooping, etc. I don't really correlate this with intelligence, my brain is just trained to recognize the patterns and solving them is soothing. And hash X200B. He looked over and saw I was playing and asked what app I played on. I said I just play on a certain website I like and when he asked why I don't use a Sudoku app I tried to be as neutral as possible in my response and said that the website had a nice spread of difficulty and that every app I tried had either been all too easy or too hard. Admittedly, it's almost always too easy, but because of aforementioned inferiority complex I was hedging this on purpose. He had a kind of, oh really, response and insisted I try the app he has on his phone because he was sure I would find it hard. So, I maliciously complied. And hash X200B. I opened up the hardest setting of puzzle in his app and solved it in about a minute, beating the record on his phone by at least a minute and a half. I showed it to him and he seemed alarmed and basically said I got lucky. So, I played several more times so that my times flooded the fastest times list until his were all gone. His shock and frustration at this was satisfying on its own, but many months later when I had long forgotten about it, he randomly sent me a screenshot of his puzzle in that app with a faster time except it was for the easiest puzzle setting. So of course to be petty, I immediately downloaded the app, played on the easiest setting, beat his time by a significant margin again, and sent a screenshot. Was this mean? Maybe. Was it satisfying? Yes. He obsessed for months about beating you once. He got exactly what he deserved. Nicely played. Sounds like healthy competition to me. That's awesome and now I want to play some Sudoku. What website do you use? That's hot. Toxic exes can be fun sometimes lol. That man deserved that burn. What gent to hit you up months later thinking he had a gotcha moment lol. I used to play Sudoku and got fairly good at it, but I played the ones that came in the newspaper. One thing that I always did was commit to the space. I never erased or backtracked the numbers. Do you have any pointers or strategies to figure out the tougher ones? I love Settlers of Catan, as in tried to convince professors to let me write my college thesis on it, and got turned down. I did however write a game theory paper on it explaining how you can use arbitrage and monopolies to alter the exchange rates in trades. First question I get, are you any good? I mean, I usually can get, like, second place. Lol thanks for sharing, that's pure beauty right there. That was a great read, really well written. It always annoys me when people conflate skill with intelligence when skill mostly comes from practice. I also love playing Sodoku and Minesweeper, never once thought it made me more intelligent than others. Sounds like he had a complex. Bye. Grin. Just beautiful. I think I find it very attractive when someone can beat me at a game like that. I'm pretty good at most things, but seeing someone who truly excels at a specific thing, doing that thing better than me. That's awesome. Watching a pro at work, they can make anything seem fascinating, they got stuff they can teach ya. I cackled when you mentioned his screenshot. Good on you. If you played Sudoku so much, how come he had never seen you play in the year plus where you dated? It's time for him to commit Sudoku. Man, timed Sudoku sounds stressful.
I prefer to do puzzles without a clock. Do you do cracking the cryptic YouTube channel puzzles? Those things are crazy, I can never solve them but it's fun getting a few things. My brothers and I have enjoyed the YouTube channel Cracking the Cryptic which involves solving Sudoku with custom rule sets. Okay how do you get good at Sudoku? I'm a rather smart guy and can do the ones ranked hard on most apps if given like over an hour lol. Sometimes there just aren't any more numbers you can figure out. What if you are Gary Oak and he is Ash Ketchum? You have made a powerful enemy, you, respect 5 Eva. There can only be one Sudoku master. I'm always looking for a better Sudoku experience. What website do you use? If you love Sudoku I highly recommend the YouTube channel Cracking the Cryptic. They solve some truly insane Sudoku puzzles and both of them are cool people who just love Sudoku. Was it the right thing to do? Hell fucking yes it was. As an introvert I feel better than I anticipated. Love it. Advice to that guy. Don't try be competitive if ya can't handle losing. Sudoku apps are only fun up to a very intermediate level of skill. Once you have some experience with the basic strategies, they're basically pointless. Mean? Yeah. Dot. Did he deserve it? Oh hell yeah. Absolutely horrible. Well done. Can you share your Sudoku website for varying difficulty? The fastest I've beat my phone app was six and a half min but I haven't been able to improve. Maybe another avenue would help. Thank you. He should commit Sudoku. Fucking lol. Also, Sudoku is great. Is there a way to play Sudoku that's not just penciling in all of the possibilities for the board until you narrow them down? Sad face. I thought this was going to be something like kicking his ass in COD, but beating someone at math puzzles is even better. COD bros can respect a better player, eventually, but insult a guy's intelligence by being better at logic games. Ruined. LMAO I felt the satisfaction in this one. Ha. This reminds me of a game demo I was playing at a board game convention. We were paired up randomly and given the rules, then moderators would float around and help. About 10 minutes in, I realize this game is not for me, I don't enjoy the mechanics chosen. My, male, not that it should matter, partner was struggling through each of his turns and looked miserable, so I suggested just calling it a draw and leaving. No no, we must finish the game, he said. According to a friend standing nearby, I looked him in the eyes, looked at my cards, smirked, and then proceeded to beat him that turn. Never played that game again. It sounds like the beginning of a nice healthy relationship based on competition and the need to crush your enemy. I say give in and keep spamming him with ridiculously good numbers until he begs you to stop. Snicker. Big time location flag location flag location flag. So weird to be so competitive and jealous of his partner instead of just complimenting you on something you're really good at. I feel sorry for people like him. They'll never get to experience the joy that comes with acknowledging a partner's awesomeness. When I used to take the train to work, on the way home I would walk up and down the train and find two copies of the NY Post that people had left behind and grab the Sodoku puzzles so that my ex and I would have something to do that night if there was nothing on TV. This is awesome. Thanks for sharing. Your ex is a putz. Not really underscore mean underscore, technically. Sounds like the begging of a rom-com NGL. 16 and on payroll, fair play to you. I play a lot of board games with my girlfriend and I beat her at pretty much all strategy board games, but I don't have a shot at beating her at games like Scrabble. We find common ground on games like Paperback and Bananagrams because they are word games, but there are factors that I play better with. Even better here in Ontario, Canada it's ridiculous. I've played Sudoku, and I'm mediocre at best, but I've always found the game to be soothing because yeah, you're thinking, but not that hard. Who the hell gets competitive over Sudoku? That's like playing solitaire and saying, I clear out the last row first. This makes me want to play Sudoku now, admittedly on an app though.